On May 14th, the 50th annual Special Olympics Montana Summer Games will get underway in Great Falls. 2,000 athletes are registered with the organization across the Treasure State, able to compete in 18 different sports between summer and winter. But that number could be cut by over 20% if some things don't change. Powerlifting is among the struggling events, but there is a passionate group in Billings trying to save it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Racket. Good. The weight doesn't care what your abilities or not abilities to do anything are. Shoulders in the bench. Are you ready? One, two, three. The weight is completely oblivious to who you are, what kind of day you had. There's no way to fake power lifting. Shoulders back. You can either pick up the weight. Five. Good job, Chris. Or you can't. Super light, right? The same rules apply to Olympians and Special Olympians alike. Powerlifting rules in for Special Olympics are very specific and they do not vary much from a typical powerlifting meet. You didn't wait. Sit up. We gotta do it again. The idea is to make it as close to a typical powerlifting meet as we possibly can. Knight knows how. She was a longtime competitor, and a five. but is now in her 16th year as a coach, specifically for Special Olympics right. athletes. She started to honor her late sister, who was special needs, One. and who would be immensely proud of the work Nicole has done. One more, Chris. It's a big commitment for the coaches. We're very lucky with Nicole because she's out here, she's donating her time. Two more, Joe. It's it's a lot of commitment, not only for the athlete to come in, she's here Straight back. three nights a week also. Two, good job. How much does she help you guys, though? A lot. I know I love her a lot, like a best friend forever, like a sister. Away. The feeling is mutual for each other and their sport, which is in trouble. Powerlifting is one of four sports Special Olympics Montana is considering eliminating due to a lack of participation. I think that there is quite a bit of quite a bit of interest from athletes. It, it requires um, quite a bit of commitment on all aspects, from the coach, from the athlete, from the athlete's parents or caregiver. It's it's quite a bit of time that he spends. Um, right now, he's in the gym at least four days a week doing a formal practice and then he does work at home or he comes to the gym extra. That means time and money. Two factors the other sports, gymnastics, equestrian and kayaking, all have in common. But the biggest problem might be that there just aren't enough people like Knight. Very good. The more specific the sport is, the more training you have to do in order to coach the sport. One time, just like the last time. You got this all day long. There's, you know, certain sports that people do more recreationally that it may be easier for them to pick up a bowling ball and help someone learn how to bowl versus powerlifting takes training so you need a little bit higher level of training in order to coach it. Sit down in it, shoulders back. Ironically, that specificity is the reason why Marin's son Chris and others nice have Chris, stayed with point. powerlifting good, good, over good. other sports. Chris has been involved in Special Olympics since he was eight. Powerlifting is fairly new. He's been doing it for the last four years. He very much enjoys it. Yep. It's been challenging for him, both mentally and physically, as he's figuring out the rules. Um, his endurance has increased, and he has lifted more than I thought he was ever going to be able to. <laughs> drive, Chris, drive. Good job. Nice work. The hardest one's done. Yeah. Got this, yeah. nice. Powerlifting gives these athletes purpose and a place to direct their energy and love. You guys did awesome. Like, fantastic. They don't concern themselves with the politics and details of why their sport hangs in the balance. What matters to them are moments like these. Organizers want 30 powerlifters in the summer games by next year. The number is hovering in the low 20s right now. So Lucera needs help to keep his life plan on track. I'm gonna keep going to the Olympics until I find a girlfriend, get married, and I'm gonna retire and I'll come back again. We should all be so lucky.
Thanks to photographer Brandon Sullivan for putting that story together. Again, you can catch these athletes plus hundreds more at the state summer games May 14th through 17th in Great Falls.